Maggie Mitchell, almost. This is all so crazy. We're getting married in Montana, what a dream. <laughs> None of us are here by accident today. Uh, each of you are standing here together tonight on this day because your family has been praying for many, many years for the spouse that you're taking today. And nothing that's happening tonight is taking God by surprise. I believe He's purposed this union for a long, long time. It's the day you've been waiting for, and it's here. Let's start by taking a deep breath. <laughs> And just let it out. And then I want you to just turn and take a look and see the, the beauty that God's given us right here in these woods. See your friends. Take look at them in the eye. See the beauty that you've enhanced God's creation with, with flowers and rose petals and all. And soak it all in. Slide on my suit. Lace up my shoes. Check on my tie. Make sure it fits just right. Drag a comb through my head, climb up the stairs. My heart starts to spin soon as you walk. It <laughs> looks gorgeous. Oh my god, it looks gorgeous, Maggie. What do you think? <laughs> it looks amazing. You like it? Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Maggie, I wanted to say to you, hope I can get through this, that, um, we just think you are the perfect fit for Miles. You coming into our family is just uh, a dream come true, and we've prayed for you your whole life. One of the things we love the most is when, when you walk in a room, you light it up with your joy and your smile. And I'm, I'm guessing you're gonna hear about that a lot tonight. Equally as incredible of a feeling for us to, to uh, experience is when you walk into a room, we look at Miles. And we see Miles light up when he sees you. Wow, it's hard to know where to even begin. As I sat thinking, oh, <laughs> I didn't think I was getting an emotional reading of this. Um, <laughs> As I sat thinking about what to say to you on our wedding day, I just thought back on so many memories of the joy that it has been to pursue you, Maggie. It's hard to think of moments that we have had together that haven't been marked by pure joy and fun. Today we commit ourselves to one another before God with our favorite people and our favorite place and dream. But it pales in comparison to the life that we are about to start. When I think about becoming your wife, I can't think of any higher or greater honor. <laughs> I can't really think of Feels like a dream, can't believe we stand in you. Lost in your eyes, darling, my worries disappear. Hold you tonight and I'll hold you till my days are done. I truly can't think of a better place than right here in Montana for this venue wedding right next to Glacier National Park in Northwest Montana. Maggie, <laughs> you're, you are my best friend and I could not be more excited to get to start this life together with you. You seek to serve others, pursue God's people with steadfast love, bring joy with you always, and so, so much more. I know that through the ups and downs that this life will throw us, you will always be by my side, pushing me to be more like Jesus. And that is why it is so easy to spend the rest of my life with you. Marrying you is truly a dream come true, and I feel like the luckiest man in the world. I love you, I love you, I love you. Maggie Mitchell, you're the woman of my dreams, and I love you so much. It is a joy to know you, and to see you pursue people in a gentle manner. I know that what I'm gonna get with you is such a gift. You are able to consistently love me out of Christ first loving you and your steadfast love for Jesus. You are my best friend and I love our deep friendship and our ability to laugh together fills my cup. Spending the rest of my life would be nothing short of the greatest joy. I pray we always lean on the faithfulness of the Lord and on each other and that we serve together and never stop having fun. I love you more than you know. That's <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sweet.
Let's do it. <laughs> So when Maggie was little, she had an aunt in Lori that literally took every moment of Maggie's life in picture or video. And she was playing dress up when Lori was out there with us. And Lori had her video camera on. Maggie had a white dress and a little white veil. And she was skipping up and down the hallway in the house and singing the wedding song. And Lori had her own video. And Laurie asked her, who are you marrying, Maggie? All Maggie would say is, that man. <laughs> that man. And she was so cute, little blonde, curly hair, that man. And Laurie would say, who, well, who's that man? And she would just say, that man. And I'm so blessed and so thankful that that man is Miles Mitchell. Rings are not only a precious metal, they're made precious. Are you wearing it? Your wedding rings are special. They enhance who you are and they are a statement to the world, I belong to someone. They mark the beginning of a long journey together and they seal the vows you have just taken of love and commitment to each other. Maggie, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and faithfulness to you. With all that I am and all that I have, with this ring I thee wed. Miles, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and faithfulness to you. With all that I am and all that I have, with this ring I be wed. And Maggie, since we've met you, um, it's the theme is the, the word joy. You're just so joyful. She's loved me so well as a sister, and has just let me follow alongside of her, and has set the bar so high of how to live like a godly woman, and how to live life with joy as everyone has mentioned and how to love others well. Um, it's clear that you love everyone around you so well. Now the best thing I think Miles has done is uh, when he brought Maggie home. Uh, I told Miles, I said, you better not mess this up. <laughs> and uh, so here we are today. I told you in times past that the best, the very best gift that you can give this world is a great marriage. Not a good marriage, but a great marriage. And as we've discussed, the only way that can happen is for the Lord and Holy Spirit to be in the center of all of it with you. Uh, I guess it's time to pronounce it. Uh, all right. By the authority given me by the great state of Montana and the promises made in the rings exchanged this evening, it's now time for me to formally to declare this union. Miles and Maggie, I pronounce you husband and wife. Father, we thank you for this time. Thank you that we get to come together as a group and bless these two young people as they start their lives together. My only one. We'll take you up on your word that wherever two or more of us are gathered in your name, you are with us, and we know you're here tonight. 
So we ask for your continued blessing over these two young people and all their families and future endeavors. And their spiritual life continues to grow as their family grows. Amen. Amen. Amen.